I don't want to go to the altar. I can't. So Jimmy finally did the thing. He finally had a backbone and told Chelsea no. <laughs> Yay, Jimmy. You're set I'm not going, right? Am I getting that? You're set I'm not going. I'm set on not going. Hey everyone, I'm Keisha. I'm Claire. And we're here to talk about Love is Blind season six, episode 12, AKA the finale. Starting with Jimmy and Chelsea and the shocking cliffhanger resolution. Shocking, but not shocking. This feels like exactly where this relationship should have ended up, where it was always going to end up. I'm just surprised that they made it to the finale. We were just picking our songs for walking into the reception. Are you kidding me? There were no positives. <laughs> to his relationship with her. It was always a fight, always yeah. an argument. That man was so miserable, and I feel like this is, he he's was. finally free. <laughs> I told you out of confidence about one of my friends that I had a prior relationship with. You threw that in my face. That boy was I, checked out. He was more checked in to his female friends off screen. I feel like they had a stronger relationship than him well, Chelsea and Chelsea. The same. Not to say he was sleeping with them. I just feel like he was talking to them and communicating with them more <laughs> clearly, apparently, than with Chelsea because that man was checked out the entire time they were together. And it was always defense mode because Chelsea just, she let her insecurities get the best of her every time like you're so set on not going because of our one argument i'm just like that is blowing my mind and it was so funny that she kept insisting that it was one argument they were only always in an argument when did you say that that you wanted to pull back because i was the one who always wanted to have sex with you and you didn't want to do that A disrespect when, when did i say that the night you called me clingy what do you think is going to happen at the reunion? Because I love when we show up to a, the reunion and the broken up couples. I want to know, did they hook up after they broke up? Have they spoken since they broke up? Are they friends? Honey, they're going to be like long lost acquaintances. A polite Co hello and that's it. I don't even think they're going to hug. I feel like Chelsea might come in guns a blazing and be mad at Jimmy though. Yeah, I mean, she's here for the drama. He was there to, he was just there. <laughs> yeah, he's just there. AD, I love you. I don't think it's responsible for me to say I do. Okay, let's talk about AD and Clay. Clay did turn AD down at the altar, which was emotional. Keisha, what are your thoughts? Yeah, th there were some emotions there. I'm sorry, AD. I'm sorry. This man was the most selfish person throughout this entire production, down to the whole vowels being about him and his personal growth. I feel as though like I became such a better man dealing with you through this whole process. And the only kind thing he had to say about AD was her looks. You came through, you popped out, I saw you, and I was like, I could work with that. <laughs> it is so insidious to sit there and right up until the very last moment, be like, I'm 100%, I'm in this, I got you, I love you. And then to turn around and say, at the altar, not only are you not 100%, but also let's work on this. I'm gonna be there for you, you deserve the best. You, him saying you deserve the best is such a total cop out. I don't care what nobody says. I know fully I'm not ready for marriage and you deserve the best. Yeah, everything he says is very empty and it's like a lot of stock phrases, I feel like, but they don't mean anything. Yeah, and you know they don't mean anything because immediately after the wedding, he's or after the not wedding that didn't happen, he's like, oh, well, I don't think I really loved her. <laughs> okay, then what were you saying? That All of was that crazy. I looked at myself in the mirror, I said, am I a husband? And the answer was no. Am I in deeply in love? The answer was no. After he said no at the altar, we saw that conversation between his mom and his dad. I thought that was the most real, incredible, raw moment I've ever seen on Love is Blind. Although we came from broken families, that doesn't mean that we have to pass on that brokenness to our kids. Absolutely. We already knew that his dad had cheated on his mom, but his mom brings up, there are a lot of things I learned about our relationship during this process that I didn't know before. And then the dad is kind of like brushing things off, brushing things off. And the dad at one point even says like, well, Clay will be fine. Like if he finds someone like his mom. Yeah, but you met me, but you wasn't good to me. Okay. And then after his mom pushed back like that, I feel like we saw something switch in Clay's dad. He knows that he was bad to his wife. He can't bring himself to acknowledge that or something. He's like living in like a fantasy land. They're both stopping themselves from experiencing love because they just can't get over themselves or something. Yeah, I think Clay, like his father, lives in an alternate reality. Yeah. And I think the thing that really was heartbreaking was 
AD at the end of all of this when she said, you know, I should have so said it. That, like, I, I feel kind of like a sacrifice. Like, you learned so much about yourself. Yeah, yeah, and, like, I get that. used me to, like, yeah. do it. That is absolutely what happened here. Okay, so everybody was a hot mess except for Johnny and Amy. <laughs> Johnny and Amy, our favorite couple. You know... I was thinking about why I'm not as passionate for them as I've been for other couples who were seemingly normal in the past. Mm -hmm. And I think they're just weird when it comes to sex. We're having fun, but we're being careful. So you're going to buy the car without the test drive. <laughs> what if y'all get married and it's dead fish flopping around? Like, you you want to be tight? I'm sorry. Dead fish. It probably is. You don't got to pretend with me. <laughs> Ain't no way. That girl is too spicy. She f that man. But <laughs> They're married now, so let's hope for their sake that AD was right and she did, you know, test drive beforehand. Overall, how did you feel about this season? It just feels like the men are like the worst people ever and the women are like fine. The men freaking suck and they're all liars and they all had girlfriends before. I just feel like during casting that had to have been clear but we just like make excuses for men because we're just like, that's the best we can do. We keep coming back for the drama. I just want a couple that I can actively root for the entire season and it's been difficult to find that. So I just want that back. I want a queer season. I want all women. I'm sick of watching these men. You know what? If you want to shake up the format, even if you don't have an all queer season, at least have bisexual people in there. Have pan. Open it up. Let people freely date. Try that. <laughs> I'd watch. <laughs>